So I've had some people ask me if I could create a video on uh, my lathing process. So that, that's what I'm going to do here today. I'm going to start with my lathe. This lathe is getting old. I've had it about seven or eight years now. I bought this at Harbor Freight before I knew that everybody in this little hobby seems to prefer the share line. So I was going to buy a share line and then realized that, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with this one. It does the job just fine. So I'm not going to replace it. I don't, I think it sent me back like 600 bucks. Um, next is my pin. Now, one thing I, I will do is rather than just chucking up like a pin gauge, a 98, 99 thousandths pin gauge, I'm going to cut my own pin because every lathe Every lathe has a little bit of run out. And if I cut my own pin, I should be able to remove most of that. So this is a piece of quarter inch stainless steel. I could have used eighth of an inch stainless steel. That would have been less work for me, but I just didn't have any at the time. So I cut the quarter inch down. Um, but in the past, you know, I've cut the head off of a nail before, chucked it up and cut those down also. So here's my tooling. Um, these are my two diamond bits, and by the way, great investment. Uh, I've had these for about five or six years, and I have never had to sharpen them. They're cutting just as well as they, they did on day one. Um, I use this tooling, which is just a piece of steel, and if you can see it, and I don't know if I can zoom in there if that's going to help at all or not. But here I use this to cut my outer hubs, and then I'll use this. I'll use this to gut, gut the wheel if I'm trying to get the weight down to remove mass from the inside of the wheel. So that's my starting point. Now I'm gonna set this thing up and show you how I cut my wheels. You know, I think I forgot to mention that I cut the pin down to about a hundred thousandth of an inch. And from there, I'm gonna sand and polish it down to about 98 and a half or 99 thousandths of an inch. Now the bore on this wheel measures 97 thousandths of an inch, but it's gonna give a little bit and that's gonna create a tight friction fit. So my first cut on this wheel will be to remove all the radial run out. Most wheels are slightly egg shaped. I'll be making them perfectly round. Now if you look close, now that I've started to cut this wheel, if you look close, you'll see that part of the tread is shiny and part of the tread is dull. I'm going to continue to remove mass until the entire tread surface is dull. Then I'll know that I've removed all of the run out. And I'll be coming back later. If you see my wheel prep video, then you know I'll be coming back later to polish up the tread. So now that the radial run out is gone, if this was a front wheel, I'd come up here and I'd remove these tread bumps. I'd set up my tooling over here and I'd remove the tread bumps. I'd, I'd go in about 20 thousandths of an inch. But this is a rear wheel and I leave the tread bumps on my rear wheel because of the orientation of the wheel. So I'm gonna leave those on there. And my next cut is I'm gonna remove the lateral run out. I'm going to set my tooling to zero. I'm going to slowly, I'm going to slowly move the tooling in until it just touches. So I'm at 0.322 of an inch right there. I take them down to 0 0.300. So we got 22 thousandths to go. Dead on. Now I'm going to cut hub length. You can see I've changed my tooling around. And what I'm going to do here is I cut my hub 50 thousandths of an inch inside the edge of the tread. I'm going to start by moving my tool in until it just barely touches the tread. I'm going to set my zero on the lathe and then I'm going to move the tool back 80 thousandths just to make sure it clears the hub completely. So now here I'm going to set another zero and I'm going to remove all the plastic from this point in 30 thousandths of an inch. That should leave me a hub length of about 50 thousandths. And I should mention, the best hubs I cut are when I cut them from the inside out. Guarantees all the little shavings are on the outside of the hub rather than the inside. And when we go to cone it, we can remove that. All right, so it's time to cone the hubs. So I'm gonna cone the inner hub first, and the first thing I'm gonna do is move the tooling around so I can use the diamond bit. Because I like using the diamond as much as possible, and I can use it 
on the inner hub. I can't use it because of its size on the outer hub, but, but I can use it here. And guys, you know, I need to mention, I tried changing my camera angle multiple times, trying to get a good view of the mass that I remove on these hubs, and I never found anything that I was completely satisfied with. So at the end of this video, I'm going to include a drawing so you can see what the shape of the hub should look like after machining. So here I'm cutting the inner hub. I'll continue to remove mass until the inner hub is very sharp. Now I'll change the tooling position back, turn the wheel around on the pin, and cut the outer hub. I'll slowly move the tooling in until it just touches the outer step, and then from there I'm gonna remove 30 thousandths of an inch. Now my tooling is actually cut at an eight degree angle, so when I remove 30 thousandths, that should remove the outer step completely and put a nice cone on the inner step. Okay, so here's a sketch I mentioned earlier that I would include. Now on the left, I've got a stock BSA wheel, and on the right is a machined lathe wheel. Let's start here with the stock wheel. Now stock wheels, right out of the box, are gonna have a tread width of about 0.35 zeros of an inch. They're gonna have a tread height of about 1.185 of an inch. The inner hub is gonna be relatively flat, and the outer hub is gonna have these steps. Now here's the machined wheel. We're gonna end up cutting the tread width down to 0 0.300 of an inch, and although we could go more, the rules in the leagues that I race keep me from going smaller than that. After we remove the radial runout, the tread height will end up being about 1.175 of an inch. The inner hub will be coned, and we will remove the step from the outer hub and cone it also. The only other thing I might do, and I didn't show it in the video, is depending on the finished wheel weight, I might remove some mass from the inside of the wheel. But nowadays, it seems like the BSA wheels are a little lighter, and as a result, it's difficult for me to remove mass from the inside of the wheel and still maintain a 2.4 gram weight for basics class. So folks, thanks again for watching my video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, and subscribe. Those things help me out a ton. Also, if you catch this video in time, APR is having a race on April 20th and everybody is invited. So if you're interested, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. And if you're in need of any speed supplies, check out my website, reeseraces.com. And the last thing I should mention, if you have any requests for future videos, let me know in the comments. So good luck to everyone in their next race and we'll see you soon.